Let's talk about my favorite ESL Thanksgiving activities. So my first one is, what are you thankful for? This can lead into a lesson um, that provides some fruitful discussion and some interesting um, things that students might mention. So there's a million things you could do. You could have students do a short presentation about what they're thankful for. They can make a little video. They could do a written assignment. They could do group discussions a million things, but what are you thankful for is such a great theme to talk about around Thanksgiving. The next one is charades and Pictionary. So if you're teaching students some Thanksgiving vocabulary, try out one of these games. So charades is acting it out and then Pictionary is drawing it. They have to draw that word or phrase or act out that word or phrase and then their teammates have to guess what it is. The next one is having a potluck. So if you teach adults and you can get your hands on a turkey, this is a great thing to do. So I've done this a couple times. I've made the turkey at home and then I've got students to do some research and prepare some side dishes. So it's not an easy thing for them to do often. If they live in like Asia, for example, they wouldn't have eaten a full turkey dinner. So they could do things like make mashed potatoes, gravy, cranberries, and it's like they have to source out these ingredients. And yeah, it's usually like quite a fun time. And some students will like just buy something, which is fine. Um, they'll like look all over the city for a pumpkin pie or whatever, something like that. Um, but yeah, students have really loved it. And we've had like just a great time doing this as well. All right, the next one is comparing and contrasting. So most countries have a harvest festival of some kind. In Korea, the example would be Chuseok. So you can have students compare and contrast their harvest festival with American or Canadian Thanksgiving. And students could also do a bit of research about the differences between Canadian and American Thanksgiving as well. All right, the next one is to do a little craft project. So you can look on Pinterest, there's a ton of ideas, or look online. Um, and then if you don't have a ton of time, you can just print out a turkey picture with like the feathers that are different um, little like blobs or little areas or whatever or you can have students make them with different kind of different colored construction paper and then in each of those little feathers on the wing students can write one thing that they're thankful for all right the next one is flag football so or touch football i guess is the be better option but um Teach students a little bit about how football works, some of the plays, and then go outside and actually play a little bit of touch football. Um, students have often never played football before and they love it. It's some hilarious confusion when nobody really knows what they're doing. And of course the teacher should understand the basic rules of football in order to do this activity. Uh, but whenever I've done it, they've had a really good time doing it. The next one for some pure fun and chaos is turkey bowling. So maybe you've seen it on YouTube or you've done it yourself. You have a frozen turkey and then some bowling pins and you just do bowling, but it's like the turkey's frozen and has the wings and the legs and whatever. So it's just going all over the place and it's very unpredictable. So you don't necessarily have to have your hands on a frozen turkey, but you can find like any irregularly shaped object and then decorate it as a turkey and then do some bowling. But of course, show some videos on YouTube so students can kind of get an idea of what you're trying to replicate. Okay, so those are all my ESL Thanksgiving activities. Leave a comment and tell me how you like to celebrate Thanksgiving with your students. And be sure to check out my book, 63 ESL Holiday Activities. Until next time, bye everyone.